Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and we talked about hijacked subdomains for major brands that actually are used in a massive spam campaign trying to um, have people into giving their credentials and even you know purchasing something that's not real and of course losing money. Um, there is a website that is interesting. Um, you just need to understand how to use it. And it is a website which is called Subdo Mailing Checker. So subdomains, if it is reported, if there's a fake subdomain of something, what you do is that in your email, when you click or when you see a link, it gives you the opportunity to uh, also copy that link. And when you right-click, you can copy the link and you can enter the domains here or the link here and click check and see what is coming back. If it tells you it's a fake, you know it's a fake. Even if it doesn't tell you it's a fake, be you know, like I said, you always be careful. But uh, this one is actually expressly done for the subdomains spam campaign that's going on right now. So when you get emails with you know an e a, a link or a web address that looks like a real deal but isn't, this should technically return a, a false subdomain and tell you that this is not uh, not right. It's actually a fake domain. So I'm going to share the link to this web page. Um, what you have to do is really enter the the web address that you see in your email. So you don't click on it. You can just you know look at it and enter it here or copy paste just the you know uh, xyz.amazon.com for example and enter it here. Of course good domains do not come up. So if, if I go to amazon.com here and click check it says not found in our database of compromised domains. So it tells you that it's fine. But if you have anything else that comes up, um, then, of course, that's where it could be a problem. So anything that would not be safe will pop up from their database and let you know that it's not right. So you can check this out, uh, Subdo Mailing Checker, and um, the link is in the description below. Uh, like I said, it should technically on the spam campaigns uh, recognize the fake domains and subdomains that are popping up in emails. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.